Hello everybody, this is Brandon with ExpeditiousFool.com, putting mindfulness in motion, and I wanted to talk to you about yoga. Why do we do yoga? Why do we do asanas? In the West, it's mostly taught um, in gyms and yoga studios, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this, yoga studios for the most part. Um, not saying that there aren't some decent teachers out there or some that have the understanding, but the way that it's taught, and this is not just the West as well, I mean, it's taught a focus on the asanas and focus on a lot of lineage and tradition as far as specific techniques, specific um, protocols, things like this. But it's more basic than that. So yoga. Yoga means to y yoke means union, to bring yourself in union with the cosmos. So you're in complete understanding with reality. And I mean that as in real reality, real reality, something that is real, the one thing that is real. A lot of things that we have in our day to day are assumptions. They're assumptions that we make, that we put together, that we heard from somewhere, whereas yoga is a true experience, right? Not just the asanas. That's actually the small part, and that's what I'm going to talk about. So yoga means to actually get your consciousness in line with true reality and the way things really work, not what we've perceived in our minds by over-attaching to our bodies. And I consider the mind part of that, right? Um, if these bodies evolved from one-cell organisms, there are a bunch of cells put together, um, there's even connection with the gut mind, all of that. Um, as we see and as you study further um, and as you experience more subtleties of your body, you'll, you'll see that it's really just a pile of bugs, <laughs> right? So why do we do the asanas? We do the asanas that way we can develop a strong back. It's true. We can develop a strong back so we can sit down our pile of bugs that we've collected throughout the years. We can sit that down and then we can really analyze and, and go deeply into the heart, the, the seat of Atman, the seat of the soul. That's the only reason we, we're supposed to be doing an asana. If you don't have this understanding or your teacher doesn't have this understanding, you're not doing yoga, you're doing stretches. That's the only gain you'll get. Now, do you get benefits from exercising? Yeah both mental, physical, you, you get those. And as your mental health improves, you know, spiritual health can improve. That's true. Spiritual understanding doesn't improve, but health can improve. And that's one of the reasons why I feel called to make this video. That's kind of how I teach yoga in a different way. Teach it in a way that's accepting of yourself, wherever you're at, wherever you're at. Um, you know, yes, there's asanas, but those asanas, again, without the proper understanding that the only reason you're doing it is to strengthen your body so that you can sit longer to meditate on, on the possibility of what God is, what source is, Shiva is, Shakti is, Kundalini is, that energy that sources through us, Prana. It's a way to strengthen your body in a way that you're... It, it is able to focus on the prana, the pranayama, the breath, that life force that comes with the breath. It's not just the breath. That's why we do the asanas. So if you're doing yoga and you're not doing it for these reasons, that's okay. But just call it what it is. You're doing stretches. If you'd like to learn this way, find a teacher that has this understanding. I don't care if it's me, find someone. Because through daily mindfulness practice, breath work, meditation, and I'm gonna say yoga, meaning, you know, both the understanding and the asanas, right? So if you're not doing daily practice like that, you'll not gain further understandings. And no, this isn't a religion. It doesn't matter what religion you have, actually, this is kind of the key for all religions. And if your religion doesn't have this, it's because they took it out. They took it out, that way you would have a half understanding. 
So you would fall into an ego trap where you don't go further, where you kind of understand and you think you know, so you stop. And then you're still left anxious, stressed, feeling a void in life, not really tapping into your purpose, not really able to fully heal and show compassion in, in the right ways. You're still affected by externals. You're not protected by the armor of God, right? Unless you do daily your practice and you understand why you're doing your practice. All right, everybody, I hope this video helps. Again, this is Brandon, ExpeditiousFool.com, putting mindfulness in motion. If you want to schedule a session with me, I do tarot, breathwork, meditation, and real yoga. I'd love to help you out. I teach virtual sessions as well as in person. Um, get a hold of me anytime. That way I can help you bring yourself into connection with yourself, the cosmos, and so you can truly become in union and really, really understand the reality of things and, and achieve that thing called self-realization. All right, everybody. Thank you. Namaste. Satnam.